Okay, I haven't had a chance to, to update the slides, but, but essentially this, um, um, all it would have had is a, is a separate uh, logo on the front. Uh, these, will be on, these are online already, in fact, so you'll be able to get those later on. Um, I want to talk about anti-patterns. Anti-patterns are things you'd never want to adopt, like this guy's shirt, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, I co-founded uh, Scott and Thatcher Consulting uh, two and a half years ago. We're now about six people. And we help companies do stuff like continuous delivery, DevOpsy things, organizational change, digital transformation in various different parts of the world. This is kind of how we see ourselves. We're in the, in the engine of the organization doing work, getting, our, getting dirty, if you like. Not literally doing this, um, but that's the metaphor we like to use. Um, so here's the team topologies, if you haven't seen them. The, the premise of this is thinking about uh, patterns of team responsibilities and team boundaries that are useful or less useful in the context of doing software and releasing very quickly. Uh, so we've done a lot of work, from doing a lot of work for a company, a big, uh, well, global company in, uh, based in China right now for uh, com several companies in London, uh, one in, in Leeds, um, based on based on this kind of stuff. The, if, you're, if you're involved at all in trying to define who has responsibility for what in the organization, building and running things, this would be very valuable, I think, for you. Uh, so the book that I co-authored earlier this year is Continuously with Windows and .NET. There is some stuff in there that's applicable across the board, not just Windows and .NET things, but when the original uh, continuous delivery book, which you'll see in a second, when the original book was published in 2010, the the state of automation on the Windows platform was absolutely dire, so we basically filled in the gaps. And the, Dave Farley, one of the co-authors of the original continuous delivery book, wrote our forward. Um, so it's like a sanctioned addition to the continuous delivery book. Anyway, let's have a look at some anti-patterns. The first anti-pattern is not reading the continuous delivery book. So which book is that? It's this book here, uh, published in 2010, Jess Hemble and Dave Farley. Um, and essentially, it's... It's essentially a, a collection of recommendations of stuff to do um, to make software releases much more effective. So everything between ver committing to version control and it being live, just after live, essentially. All of those practices there, that's what this really is. Um, it turns out that, so you can see some of the head headings here, don't check in on a broken build, that's a practice. So if, you, if, you, if you've got a CI tool and the build is showing as red, broken, don't check in. Uh, practice there. Uh, only build binaries once, so don't have a dev build, a pre-release build, and a, and a release build. Just build them once, and so on. So the whole load of practices. Turns out the, the subheadings in the book actually act as a bit of a checklist. And so literally, this is when I was at the train line. Uh, I was leading their build and deployment activities, and literally you can print it out on A3 or A, A2 paper, stick it on the wall, and then rate yourself. So for configuration management at the time, this is back in uh, this is back in 2003. We rated ourselves four out of 12 items of uh, configuration management. So we weren't doing terribly well at that point, but it helped. And what really, what, what helped hugely by doing it like this, literally printing it out and putting it on the wall, is people would walk past and you'd have conversations about stuff. So it just so happens that the the decision that the two authors made about the headings in the book is that you can kind of say yes, we're doing that thing, and no, we're not doing that thing. It's quite handy. So I basically use a pattern here to, to, to counteract the anti-pattern is actually use the book because uh, there's a whole load of stuff in there. And to be honest, for the vast majority of business systems, absolutely every recommendation they make is completely valid. There's no excuse. It's not, oh, we're, we're a special case. We do, uh, we do driving simulation software. No, it's all applicable. We're a special case. We do chemical analysis. No, it's still all applicable in here. 